that's fascinating to me to think about that you know of two offers because that would have been either 87 and 88 or 88 and 89 i believe it was uh, 88 and 89 yeah and then it finally happens in 1990 of course uh, uh, along the way though I take well, that back it was 87 really take that back was how do you remember it was 87 how do you just remember that uh because it was prior to the survivor series okay and it was at the time that you know vince was looking for opponents for demolition and wanted to bring in a big baby face team those guys the road warriors to work with demolition and then he it was like okay if they're not going to do it then uh we'll turn demolition baby face so that was the start of that but th that was the first time that i remember talking about it and vince hanging up the phone going full steam ahead on demolition so the uh, idea would have been, i mean i think survivor series 87 was that the actual like you know one of the debuts for demolition on pay-per-view i mean because they weren't on wrestlemania 3 so that would have been like their first big one. And in theory, you guys would have liked to have had them working with the roadies right away. No, it, not right away. It was just to, to have them come in. And it's like, are you going, are you going to push demolition as this monster heel tag team, which is what they were. And that's what they were made to be and looking for opponents for them. Then it's like, okay, well, the opponents aren't going to work out. Do we just take what we have that was really getting over in demolition and turn them babyface? I'm so fascinated by that because just a few minutes ago, you came on here and said, it's sabotaging Starcade. What? Well, this is the first Starcade that wasn't in Greensboro. It was in Chicago, the kayfabe hometown of the road warriors and the road warriors were working for the tax straps against uh, the brain busters. So it's just fascinating to think, oh no, we weren't trying to sabotage it. We were just trying to get one of their big acts right before their big pay-per-view to come on the pay-per-view that we created to fuck with that pay-per-view. Yeah, we didn't create a pay-per-view to fuck with that pay-per-view. We created a pay-per-view to have more business, Conrad. That's what we did. If you, if you do your business, I don't know how many times I have to say it, people don't understand this. You're in business to make money and create things. If you are in business to hurt someone else and put someone else out of business, you're always going to fail. That's why whenever, you know, Vince would go into other territories and the promoters would be, oh, by God, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go destroy his territory. We're going to go to New York and we're going to put him out of business. Vince wasn't looking to put anybody else out of business. Vince was looking to provide the audience a choice and let the audience choose. And that's what they did. So if you concentrate on, oh, putting someone out of business, then you will fail every time. But if you go in and concentrate, yeah, were we talking to people with Crockett? Absolutely, because people with Crockett were talking to us yeah. wanting to come to work. Sure. So if Crockett was such a great place to work, then why were people calling us? I like that you have this energy about it all these years later. Well, because I'm so sick of the narrative and the bullshit from people that weren't there that don't understand simple business technique and simple business concepts and why you would take your energy to hurt someone else instead of helping yourself. To me, that's just ass backwards. Well, in that same vein, if that's really the way we were thinking, why wouldn't you guys debut Survivor Series the weekend before or the weekend after? Why that particular day where Starcade was already announced and in place, and it wasn't announced and in place. It was, it sure as hell wasn't all. It was not Our, announced in the pay per view world. No, you are completely wrong. Was there a show that had been booked in Greensboro or Chicago or where, wherever the hell it was? I have no idea where it was because I didn't care. But was there, you know, a pay per view opportunity? on that weekend that we hadn't run. Yeah. Let's go try it. Let's go see if this is something that we can do. Traditionally had never done that before. There was a pay-per-view opportunity to do that coming off the success of WrestleMania three and looking to expand our pay-per-view presence. 
I'm, I'm not arguing that, that that wasn't after WrestleMania three and that you shouldn't have tried more pay-per-views, but to get on here and suggest that Thanksgiving night well, uh, on closed circuit wasn't Starcade 83, 84, 85, 86. Like it had been a it wasn't on closed circuit. It was not on, it was not on pay-per-view all those years. No, it wasn't. It was on closed circuit television. That's what I just we said. We weren't doing closed circuit television. We were doing pay-per-view. There are tickets out there where people watched WrestleMania on closed circuit. Conrad, we're talking about Survivor Series. Yes, I'm aware. This is the same Survivor year. Series. We're talking about Thanksgiving when they traditionally ran closed circuit. We were going to run pay-per-view that night. My point is the whole country didn't have pay-per-view and a lot of those markets still continue to have the closed circuit. Okay, we didn't do closed circuit for Survivor Series. I don't <laughs> think we did. I'm not arguing that, but you did run it on Thanksgiving night. Yes, we sure as hell did. Okay. And we're, and it was a very successful show. Yeah, it worked out. And still going because if Starcade had been so good and, and this great event, then more people would have watched it and more people would have supported Jim Crockett promotions and more people would have watched their show and kept them in business. And they would still be the company that is dominating the business. And you're telling but me they're not, they had to go to Ted Turner and say, please, Ted Turner, buy me out. Cause I'm broke. Cause I've run the business into the ground because I don't have, know how to run a business. Those are just facts. Well, I'm not arguing that. I just want you to say it aloud and clear voice now that everyone has had it wrong all these years. Vince McMahon did not tell the pay-per-view companies. If you carry Starcade, you can't get WrestleMania. Oh, now, see, now you're changing the question. Did no, Vince no. say if you want WrestleMania, you're going to take uh, Survivor Series? Absolutely. Absolutely. No, I didn't suggest that he said that. I suggested that he said, if you don't. I just told you what he said. But you suggested we did it to hurt Crockett. We didn't do it to hurt Crockett. Don't give a shit about Crockett. So he never put anything out there about if they carried Starcade, they that they couldn't have WrestleMania. They did star carry Starcade, and they did carry WrestleMania. Starcade was only carried in a handful of the markets. That's up to them. I can't help it if they can't get it sold beyond certain markets. So you're you're denying that Vince McMahon had anything to do with that. We don't run the cable companies, Conrad. You've never strong again. Run. They have a choice too. They have a choice. They can take Survivor Series, which is a proven company. Wait, how is it a proven, proven company? It's the first it's time it went. A proven company that has been very successful on pay-per-view, WWF. Or you can go with a company that is not proven on pay-per-view. It's real simple. You want to make it this, oh, this whole rivalry, that's just not the case. All right. I guess everybody's been wrong all these years. Most, most have. Yeah. That's the narrative. That would be incorrect. So when Jim Crockett says that happened, he's making that up when David Crockett, no, I'm sure, I'm sure that I'm sure the Crockett's think that the only reason was because, Oh, somebody came in and they ran a show against us. Someone did come in and run a show against you. If your show was so good, then you would have outdrawn them and you'd still be in business. Right? I mean, I don't know how you argue that, you know, to the victor goes the spoils, but. But that's, that's the, that's, that is the argument. Oh, no, they put a card against us. Oh my God. The same night in our, our product is inferior. Our product is not as good as theirs. Not as many people want to watch us. So it's unfair. What a whiny little, I mean, come on. If your product's that good, if your product is better, the audience is going to choose it. You have a clicker. I don't know how, know any other way to explain it. More people, or let's put it this way, less people wanted to watch the Jim Crockett promotion shows. 
less people had the option. That's for sure. Because a lot of the cable systems didn't carry it. And you're suggesting Cause they didn't want it. Okay. Cause they hadn't heard of them. Cause they weren't, they didn't have a proven track record. They were on national TV. They're on TBS. Every right. week. They hadn't proven themselves on pay-per-view. Well, nobody had, it was the infancy. Yeah. Pay- WWE had one time. They had ran one show. No, they did paper. No, they'd done pay-per-view since the wrestling classic. A lot of that was closed circuit too. Wrestling Classic was 100% a pay-per-view event. Was okay. the first pay-per-view event. So what was Starcade 83 in your opinion? I have no fucking idea what it was. It was a closed circuit something or other. I have no idea what it was. Okay. Was it closed circuit? It was on pay-per-view? Are you saying that it was on pay-per-view? Are we suggesting that closed circuit is not the precursor for pay-per-view? That brings it's a about- different product. I'm not arguing that, but it circuit, you got to leave your house, go buy a ticket, go to an arena or a theater and watch it. Pay-per-views, you sit at home and you watch it on your cable box. That's what pay-per-view is. Starcade 83, most people consider to be the first ever major pay-per-view event. But it wasn't. It was a closed circuit. Okay. So that'd be incorrect. <laughs> no. so, so hang on, Conrad. If you're going to say... Okay, well, anything they did that people paid to watch, then every event is a pay-per-view. Right. Well, I mean, I guess the gist is you just denied that Vince tried to strong arm the cable system. So that's what we wanted. That's, that's the information. I've said it a million times. Well, now we got a million and one. Uh, since you couldn't get the Legion of Doom to come over here to uh, further the of Doom. Cars, now that would be a name. So since we can't get them to actually sabotage Starcade, which we definitely weren't trying to do with Survivor Series, since the LOD don't show oh, by the way, it wasn't just for Survivor Series, dude. Oh, yeah, I'm aware. you're spinning shit. How am I spinning shit? You say, oh well they tried to get Legion of Doom to come and sabotage Starcade. No. No, no, I said they definitely weren't. You're not even listening. No, I'm listening to you try to spin shit. <laughs> and Legion of Doom, that was somebody we were trying to get to come to WWE. Not for just one event. Fuck Jim no, Crockett, I know that. Please. Oh, Jim Crockett had the greatest. <laughs> Ric Flair, Ricky Steamboat. My God, they should still be in business and still be promoting that match, right? I mean, I think I think people tried to do both of those this year. Yeah, well, 